for somebody to donate something they don't have to wait to beg for money from anyone else but because they'll have resources to run their party affairs at their level the third is empowerment of the secretariat once the investments have taken shape we'll need to stop this issue of a secretary general treasurer general director of women director of youth provincial chairpersons from holding public positions. They should focus on the party affairs. It is a challenge for them to double as an MP, as a minister, and as SG, or as a general chairman, or as a general, because the party suffers in the long run. I'll borrow if you remember the time of UDF, the SGs were never given public positions, as an example locally. But if you go to Tanzania, you go to Zimbabwe, Zanu PF, Swapo in Namibia, Botswana, BDP, NC, Ferrimo. It's the way I'm explaining where but key party position holders are not allowed to hold public positions. They focus on strengthening the party so that the party can grow and move forward. Introduction of Veterans League. Akura Guru ni Damba Mozimila Moto. And sometimes we've got wrangles, we've got issues. We need to go back to them and say, Kodi Ntayanus Kenda Banji, how did you go around this? How can we go about this? They become the elders and advisors of the party. Stakeholder engagement strategy. I want to emphasize this point. You see, Malawi at the moment is suffering from a disease called short termism. Short termism. Every party that is elected, it looks at the five years it is in power, period. It will never look at Vision 2063, Vision 2040, or whatever, because they are looking at five years. So I found that the national agenda is limited to the five years which they know for sure they will be in power. As a result, our plans, our development agenda, suffers from short-termism. We need to create a stakeholder engagement strategy whereby people like traditional chiefs, are the custodians of long-term plans because chiefs are there for life. They can be the custodians of our long-term strategy. When National Planning Commission is formulating its agenda, let them use chiefs as some of the custodians because they'll know what government need to achieve in the next 20 years, 30 years. Because political parties focus on the five years, what can we do tangible in five years so that 2025 we have voted into power, 2030 we are back in power. But we need to have long-term plans. Some of them cannot have bearing now or on the electorate now. But as a country, they will benefit the country in the long term. So we need to have an engagement strategy that there are some people who are custodians of long-term plans as a medication to short-termism. That's why in other countries where the economies are doing well, firstborn child of every paramount chief, of every TA or sub-TA, the education is taken care of by the government because they want the chiefs to be educated. They organize development conferences for chiefs, strategic sessions for chiefs because they're custodians of long-term plans those are the things we need to start discussing as Malawians to run away from short-termism that is tied to five years of presidential term. So we need to have a stakeholder engagement strategy. At the same time as well, I believe there are three types of governments. Political government formed by political parties, religious government formed by the church, the religious community, and traditional government but the leaders of our communities, the chiefs. These three need to move together. If they don't, we'll never go far. We need to have a clear in, uh, stakeholder engagement strategy as a party. How do we engage the chiefs? How do we engage the traditional leaders, the religious leaders, as well as the youth and the women? So we move together as we move forward. As a party, we cannot afford to leave these people, groups of people, outside our agenda. Number six on the same is institute or start a deliberation to change 
some parts of the Constitution of the Congress Party when they con as far as the elective conference, so called the convention, is concerned. Either NEC must be dissolved during campaign period or the powers of NEC must be restricted to administrative issues only because we don't, don't have a vacuum. But any substantive matter must not be handled at NEC, must be pended until after convention. I'm saying this because I have suffered a lot because some position holders intimidate my team, intimidate the people that are working with me, being called names, being told they'll be explored from the parties, others being denied opportunities just because they are competing with me. We don't want that. People are abusing their positions during campaign. So we want to have a free and fair elections whereby we compete as mayor members, not where someone is just a member and one is holding a position and they use the position wrongly to intimidate others. At the same time, we need to amend our constitution to have a midterm convention whereby we review the two and a half years we have been in, the, um, uh, in positions as well as how do we move forward so that we have two conventions every five years. This is just a review convention, not elective one, but just to review. These conventions that take place every five years, they're always hot, emotional, because they're elective. People want to fight. People are, grabbing, uh, uh, um, are fighting for positions. But this midterm review convention will be a sober one because there's no fighting for positions. It's just a matter of looking at the party affairs. The last one is creating a conducive environment for NEC. This is whereby we're trying to bang heads and come up with a, a, a conducive environment for NEC so that other position holders should not override others in terms of functioning in the party. I've seen it myself. We have seen it all, that sometimes some people try to override other people's responsibilities. They try to be bigger than their own positions. I put many examples, but I will stop from there. I'll stop there. So this is my main campaign message to the party delegates. And now you might ask me, why is he focusing on the party, not the nation? It's because the convention is about the party. It's about the party. That's why my manifesto is focusing on the party. However, once I'm faced deputy president of my Congress party, on a national level, my agenda is to serve. In no way, the first deputy president can have his own vision for Malawi because it's the president who has the vision for Malawi. My own responsibility will be to serve the president and advise where necessary and we move forward. But my key interest myself as the Tomiko Mumba is the ATM strategy, agriculture, tourism, and mining, which the HE launched. As Malawi, we are an agri-based economy. We don't behave like one. We need to start behaving like an agri-based economy, whereby we put emphasis on agriculture and exporting. In Saudi Arabia, every Ramadan, they require 21 million chickens per day. 21 million chickens per day. They get from New Zealand, Senegal, Brazil, Argentina, various countries. Our neighbor in Zambia was given an order month in Dubai. I don't know whether they're managing it. Economies that are agribased are the future because the population is so huge, land is scarce, people need to eat. We need to put emphasis on agriculture. We cannot talk of mega farms when most of them who are coming to do mega farms are foreigners. We need to have a way of empowering local farmers who are already farmers by giving them a chance to make mistakes, give them a chance to grow a deliberate approach. When you look at South Africa, in the construction industry, the companies that are there, the Group 5s, Maran Robux, Robex, EDC, many companies, it was a deliberate move by government to empower them, allow them to make mistakes, to make losses. The government loses money as long as they are growing. We can do the same with mega farms. Empower our people. 
Let them make mistakes. Let them make losses. Let them make profits. By and by, we'll be going towards a certain direction. Eventually, we'll have mega farms owned by Malawians. We'll be able to export to other countries where they need food. When you're in Dubai or you're in the Middle East, they, they sometimes, I was shocked. I'm at a restaurant. They say, the beef you are having tonight was slaughtered this, uh, the, the cow was slaughtered this morning at 5 a.m. in Kampala, Uganda. They have got a proper supply chain system that you find that Nyamuria Pedro Five Korogo, Mama Uganda, you're having it for dinner in Kuwait. You're having it for dinner in Bahrain. I've seen it myself. I'm like, why are our friends not us? We need to start behaving like an agribased economy. And again, you look at um, tourism. Malawi is one of the, Lake Malawi is probably the fifth largest freshwater lake in the world. But we've not made good use of it. I was in Botswana for five years. The other time I went to Chove National Park with my wife for a weekend during Easter. Just a small stretch of Chove River. A lot of hotels, lodges. If, you, if it's Easter holiday or Christmas, President's holiday, you have to book two months in advance. There will be full, hundreds of lodges. Proper tourism. We need to make good use of our own fresh lake, Malawi. The fall and the fauna of Nyika. I wonder why up to now Nyika is not fully developed. Previous governments have always said the Kumpoto and the Kumpoto. We need to look at the one National Park, Majete Game Reserve, Kasungu National Park. Let's invest in tourism and attract people. And again, the major problem is transportation. Let's have an airfield. In, it doesn't make sense. Someone flies from Jobek to Lilonga two hours, then takes a seven hours drive from Lilonga to Nyika. It does not make sense. It's a destruction on its own. When you go to Botswana, the CKGR, you fly from Jobek, they have got an immigration port right in the national park. You can fly from Jobek to CKGR in Botswana. You can fly from Jobek to uh, Okavango, uh, G uh, Moremi Game Reserve in Okavango Delta in Botswana. You can fly from Jobek direct to Chowe in Kasani without going through, uh, landing in Haborone, drive 1.4 kilometers to go to the national park. It's a distraction on its own for a tourist to fly nine hours from America or whatever, wherever it is, and it takes 10 hours drive to go to Nika. It does not make sense. We need to invest in proper structures so that we can attract tourists. I was in Mauritius at that time with my family for holiday. I went to the submarine for tourism. I went to the subscooter. I went to Mauritius. What attracted me was... Hey, Naneso, Mokotini Kutumunda, Nakurebo Submarina. Kuchu Tungotini, Nakurebo Subscooter. What attracted me was a submarine. Subscooter. You go to Seychelles, you find them. The waters at Likoma, Cape Macrie, they are very clear with nice long range vision. Why don't you have a submarine there for tourism? Subscooter. It means all the people in Sadiq around here, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Mozambique, they will come to Malawi for submarine, for subscooters. And that will attract people to come and even uh, uh, um, uh, have more time in our hotels and the government making money from tourism level. Mining. We have got phosphate. Preskin in Chikwawa is producing potash. Now, fertilizer NPK, you need potassium, you need phosphates. We can only import nitrogen as a petrochemical to manufacture fertilizer in Malawi. We put phosphates. We've got lithium, graphite. We've got thermal core about 60 meters deep in, the, uh, in Nyika, but for Nyika I can say no because we don't want to damage the ecotourism. But in Livingstonia, we're talking of uh, um, uh, Ankana in, um, in Chitipa and Karonga. Thermal core, we can produce electricity by burning the core right, not mining it, but burning it right down this technology. They are able to burn coal right deep there and produce electricity. We can do that and put it into the in the pool for Saudi region whereby every country can tap energy from and export energy. So the ATM strategy that HE has put as a one of the key things is at my heart. We can help the HE to implement the ATM strategy. And as a Christian, I believe in the word of God. 
In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, not the world. The heavens and what? And the earth. Agriculture is about the earth. Tourism is about the earth. Mining is about the earth. I look up ATM strategy as somebody's biblical as a Christian. With those remarks, thank you very much. I'm ready to take questions. Where Joseph will behave, huh? <laughs> All right. So. <coughs> There's a microphone there. Honorable, my name is Draxon Maloya. I have a question basing on a number of factors. I, I was going through the write-up you have distributed and your presentation this morning or this afternoon now. You haven't propounded much to do with energy because this very, very precious, I may call it, write-up has got a clear vision for Malawi, actually. It's a blueprint which looks very attractive. But what means of energy, power sources now? Because Malawi seems to be lacking behind in terms of energy. Every year, year in, year out, we are experiencing uh, power outages, sometimes two days, mainly here up north. And yet north has got a lot of resources which can even be used for power generation. I want you at least to propound a little more actually as to what's going to happen so as to implement your vision with a clear roadmap considering the issue to do with power generation. Thank you very much. Let me take that one quickly. On the national agenda, if you read my manifesto, I've said that the enablers for the ATM strategy, according to my opinion, the first one is education. We need the right education. We can't be talking of mining when our students in primary school don't know anything about mining, but in Germany, in Europe, where there are no mines, they are learning about mining. So we need to have the right education from primary school to secondary school to college. Our students, our pupils from primary school must learn about energy, uh, about mining. They must know what we're talking about. Then also about agriculture. There was, I won't mention the name of the, of the teacher. A friend of mine was a teacher. So he retired. He wanted to start poultry farming. Now he went to Runyangwa research station to meet the people for guidance. Now he meets his student at, was the student at Rumpi Sondra School. Then he says, no, asambizi. Vida mkani asambizi ganga kurumi vya agriculture vya ulimi wanghuku. Just go and implement the same thing. It means he was teaching theoretically, not practically. He's an agriculture teacher. May so rest in peace. But he wanted to start agriculture, uh, poultry farming. He goes to Runyangwa Research Station to seek guidance. Yet he was teaching agriculture. Our system must be practical, must be practical, must not be theoretical. So we need the right education system so that uh, our students, you remember that time we had handicraft, we had whatever and the like, and the like, then they earn a living out of that. We need to have a practical based approach in our education system. Talking about energy, like mining requires energy. Tourism, you can't bring someone from America, then he comes here, there's blackout. You understand? We have thermal coal. There is no point putting a coal plant at Kamamba in the mountains of that side. It, it, there's no coal. You're relying on coal from Mozambique Mwatizi. It does not make sense because you require not less than 100 million US dollars just to put up a storage facility for coal to be burned. Why not go where the coal is, as I'm talking about, Kazivi, uh, Zivi, Ankana, Livingstonia, and burn it to, to, to uh, reduce the cost of uh, mining, burn it right down there to produce electricity. That is possible. The Fufu. Uh, hydropower station along South Rukuru. Designs have been done, can produce over 20 megawatts. Let's implement those ones. But it requires capital. That's where now we need to work hand in hand with everybody to be able to attract people who can come as IPPs to work on the hydropower at Fufu. There's Columbia, so down south on, uh, on Shira River. There's the co talking about all those uh, uh, issues on energy. Also, I spoke of, uh, on the national agenda, 
correctional services. You see, there are fans out there from Japan, from Sweden. If we can change the name Malawi Prison Services to Malawi Correctional Services, just that change in our constitution can bring funds to our government. Because we should move from taking a prison as a punishment area, but as a correctional facility. Where by now the people that have been admitted in the correctional facility are used as labor to drain about mega farms. You can have a prison facility in the middle of a 500 hectare farm. Then the prisoners are able to farm and feed themselves instead of having one meal a day, they're going to be having two, three times meals a day because they are doing their own farming and able to raise uh, resources from there. Thank you very much. Another question, please. Yes, uh, Sam. Samu Kalimina kutokera kuno kutaimu sisi mafuna fusu ya mwriyanke nchijewa chifuwa tufuna ma delegate amvye kuno kuhinu fusu ya mbando nina kuti ena akuna nina kuti akuti mwribe experience mankani ya ndare ndiye mwina mwage mwata mangira maudendo meneo mwaya nka kuti banja fusu la jwiri ndo nina kuti ndiri nkati mwono ena nandibuza message mwusa kuti ah tikuwa mwabe kuna kuti mwina Saga Loredo Amenewa, could he agai me and Pando Meneo? She for Jaguti, Maringani Malamuro, Ashibanishi, Menam Kaibenema Udindo, Kuri Joni, Kutu Shin Kurifai, Kuti Mina, Mugapis and Alba de Domeneo. Then my delegates of Vodan Damene, Aguone Abano, Mawza Kurijan, Zumbabi. Thank you so much, Sam. Uh, let me just take that on before another queen comes. All right, thanks. When it comes to jumping from one party that is ruling to the other, I don't have experience. When it comes to preventing other people from doing, joining the party, I don't have that experience. When it comes from preventing others, your opponents, to contest against you because you know that things are tough, I don't have experience. When it comes to victimizing other party members because they're supporting a federal candidate, I don't have experience. But I have experience in helping the party structures. The DCs here are my witnesses. My DC also libano, my chair constituency, Nimbonianga, Akudziwa, Mene, Ndi, Matanzia, Chipani. Ika Karankani, yo George, wa Chipani, Jora Mura, Chuka, Ui, Chupita, Gojina, experience Mene, Ndi, Libe. Ika Karankani, yo sekeleza ena mbura mchipani ya nyuani kuda saroi mchipani experience mene yo ndi ndilibe anzanga inayo au nina zbine zozo andi phd yo sekeleza anzao kuti asaroi mchipani ya karankani yo pondele za sukure ya chipani experience mene yo ndilibe au nina zbine zozo inayo mbaka na phd level i can go on and on i am experienced on the issue of kuti sindikaima nao let them wait for 8 august it's when they know the truth. But the delegates here, they know that. Come at May, 8 August, I'll be on the ballot. Not only on the ballot, I'll win. Because in my life, in my, in my life, I have never lost a free and fair competition. I'm not beginning to lose now or any time soon. I speak this with confidence. Joseph. Thank you very much. Sam. We are together at Pole. He was um, four years behind me. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, my name <laughs> is Joseph. Uh, my name is Joseph. Uh, no wonder was on my behalf. Yeah, Wanda. Wanda. What told him <laughs> All right, Joseph, please go ahead. Well, thanks very much. My name is Joseph Mara. I work with uh, Nation Publications Limited. Uh, just just one one question, basically, on um, the, the proposals that you would want to, 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 to make to, to the Constitution. Um, uh, you, you did mention that uh, sometimes when, when people double uh, positions with public offices, it, it doesn't um, help the party. How will you relate that? Because essentially, the the president becomes the appointing authority, uh, and and um, I, I simply want you to to explain more on that one. How you would link uh, party affairs to 
the, the services that these other people may need to serve uh, in, in, in the government altogether. Thanks. All right. Thank you. I think I've heard your question correctly. I'll try to answer it the way I've understood it. If I've not answered it correctly, you guide me. You see, whatever I've come up in my with in my manifesto was after doing studies, consulting, and looking at the gaps that are there in the Malay Congress Party. And the major component, mind you, I have visited every DC, 44 of them in their own homes. I've chatted with party members at grassroots level. So I've found that there was a disconnect. And one of the reasons is because key party position holders are mindful of retaining their seat at constituency level and not the party affairs. As a result, their effectiveness in the party is never there. It's compromised. Now, as I said earlier on in my presentation, in Zimbabwe, Zanu PF, Chama Chama Pinduzi, Frey Limo, Swapo Namibia, NC South Africa, BDP Botswana, key party position holders don't have are not supposed to be public position holders so that they focus on the party. But the party has got ways of raising funds to accommodate them. You find that in other countries, the Secretary General of the party receives more money than the minister. The provincial chairman receives more money than the deputy minister. So we need to embrace that and uh, have proper way of managing them. So it's not a thing that can be done now, as I said, it's only after we've put in place proper structures in terms of investment and we start realizing enough profits, we can be able to sustain hefty payments for the key party position holders who can focus on building the party forward than defending their constituencies in their constituencies. I hope I've answered, Joseph. Thank you very much. Another question, please. Uh, Ndani, Chirundu, Karabe. Oh, thank yes, you. Yes, Ada. Yes. Mwe uli, Ada. Tu mwemba mwe uli. Uh, mwe yako uje, mwe yako batala. Tili yiku lelo. Mwlivi, okay. Yeah. All right. Chapu ino, uh, abwana, ndifu safu nsoli mjijewa. Ndikuziwa uh, watimu wa mfundo zanu zikulu zikulu, uh, ndi tu mwanyamula miyo ya antu, kapina mwkwenze kila kutaliza antu. Osa tijipani, ponena kuti antu basogoro, ndale bambuyo. Kuma beta wone tse sabu na ziko lino la malawi, uh, tukudaila kwa mbili bankani zo. Nga kare kuti uh, mwa e na nditu uh, andale akaraku akula mkulabu kune na kuti ya uh, uli mditu pasogoro. Kuma kumano pa ground mwina zikule peleka po utengela antamina wapanga benefit maka maka pa AIP ama karabe wojeba. Inuyo ngati amene mwati mwina mwina nditu mwina ya antu. Makunzika mwota ni kuti alimi kapena nchilo za ulimi. Uh, Muzata ni zile ulizi bitewa so kuro mziku ino ziku. Ok, let me answer that one. I wasn't expecting that kind of a tricky question, but let me attempt it in this way. If I had it my way, if I had it my way, we should have another proper way of managing and helping our farmers than AIP. Because AIP, let's look at the results. What have been the results of AIP? We need to reflect on AIP and other interventions and see what it is. As I've said, we need to start behaving like an agribased economy. But in that statement, there are a lot of things in it, but I've chosen or elected to stop there because I don't have a question yet. I don't have any public question yet, but those are things I can elaborate better when I have some mazaza and the responsibility. But the key thing is let's start behaving like an agri based economy. Thank you. Zinalanga and the wonder, Sisia. Fusolanga and the. Sorry. Fusolanga and the. Ufulu uh, wanzipani intraparty democracy and you know you know achipani chimozi kumabanova mumenya na wambiri uh, ukukui nagaluza wakali na 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 wakali na
muyambe kuchira banopa healing the healing process now before you even musafike sikuloka ponya votiro chifuka pale anthu angapo amene mwatengisana kwambiri muzakhalira bwanjiri motsi zikatha zisankho zimene zizi ndi zimene mukuchitana banopa apa fwandani wanu banopa ndo amisipi si wakunja koya ndani wanu banopa biggest your enemy is your fellow mcp member how are you going to start the healing process to make sure that even after the election you still want you so that the enas are basically kuti at the end of the day kumene koko mwina mpaka na kutuluka chipani chifukwa choti they cannot accept defeat and they live with each other after this uh, what is going on just before the election thank you Nisaname, intraparty democracy, I found out kuti ndiyo vuta kwa mbili dhani intraparty. Nkundi ya pachu weni weni, hey, yumakara inake kwa mbili. And I'm one of the biggest victims of that from 2021 to date. Um, e kuchira tisachira, tika luza, urupa minia luzeo. But I uh, wonder, I don't have a clear answer for that, I should be honest. Komano, I think individually, I didn't say I'm because you're holding the carus, Abraba, like Guinea, but first to represent 208. Obviously, seven will fall down. That's obvious. Not all of us can win. Of course, I'll be the one who wins. That's, that's a fact. Komano, Kwan Sangao, I think uh, Abusa, Amarwanda, Mlimomuno. Mupange ka prayer group, kupa mpiri anta mena kaluze kuti ambuya ndo kakusa, sanga, sanga, asaka alide kwa mbili. I've seen my brother Brian Banda is here, ndi mbusa, aso na yeso, prizi, mwina mbusa wajwa kuhuja, kusari anta mena kaluze kuti mwina wena anga chile, sanga, sanga. But anyway, to, be, to, to answer your question, Wanda, is that uh, it's going to be hard because the intraparty democracy Yaro wela sukuti kuponde lezana, kuchingi, chinga na chingana, is indeed my policy, di 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 are contradicting the political parties act, even contradicting the actual MCP constitution, but finding something like a constitutional amendment disguised as a policy, just to fight other people. It's not on. So, I strongly believe kuti, they'll be healing, kwa mamuina uzakara mwuchiru irapo. Let's be honest on this one. Thank you very much. Zikomu kambiri ina dijona banku kuku times. Udindo wanu. Amani basa gare? Umene adu bili zaidi umene mukutano. I receive. Di di udindo kuti. Oh sorry. Kuti ma bamba na di kuti. Ndu uja kuti makala kufubi ndi nsogolele wa jibani. Amine suwa matako kala nsogolele wa ziko. Ndi mene ziri baka daliba nangati kwa jibani jamu za MCB. Nda uja mbele. Mamimba la azibani kupaliki za MCB. Ama danda ula antu inoya ndika na nda abana. Kuti nda mene machinga. Mwina muta sankidu wa paudindo mene yo. Muzao netita banji kuti access ma views awantu wamba abana wabiza number two personally muma kuvili la kunena kuti sokole wabu ino amatao soko nesu duandu mwe andiki la ziko mukambi number two baje ni kuti muma kuvili la kuti sokole wabu ino amatao soko nesu duandi amena mwe andiki la Okay, let me answer it that way. Asokoleri a North South region, achavula, kumaso anyimba o, atabikila mboni unea kuti, at times, when other people, amachi nyiriza kumanda president, I have been their bridge. Amimba nuna mangati? Awanyi aje ndale apa, ndi mboni angas. So, I'm able to do that when chance arises. So it's a matter of just continuing what I was doing. That's why in the current engagement strategy, 
deliberate one kuti no pasamakare zopinga na pingana kuti wina kare ngati Yesu kuti am the only way to the father other than me but so wina paka kumalemba makala ata kuti no so pita kwa president ndira office ya kuti ya kuti inde pamena kukara ndondomeko kumano isamakare deliberate with a wrong intention yo chingi za antu ena that's how I can answer that question the second one yo di madiyo ni wadi so kule Ananga gare ya chidi mamalemu mesore sin peace kuti sokolede kamana kamana mizile ndo so ndo mus yandikira bongo wake makhala kuti Yes you know sometimes leaders become oblivious to the truth because people have get a hedge around them I think it's imperative and very important for every leader kumaka ndi njira yo mazwiya za background malemu bingwa mutalika ena ngati ya yokanda chibale yake kuti house achibale yake I was one of the people condemning him. But later on, after I've read books of leaders across the world, I've learned that what Bingo was doing was a script written by someone else elsewhere. Bingo jama to tenga chibale yake aja in mukere mini pasi ya nchinji. Wina kare kusokoro wina kumambuyo. Wina kwere ya chitipa. Wina kwere ya nsanje. Okusokoro uja ya mbankane mine muja. Ah, kumasu a Bingo sendezi waka nika banchi. A Bingo wa usiru wa mine. Waka mbuyo uja atipanga defendi. Kuri no ambu ni ambu mbili basi muja I want kile nkanija Yeti they are what? Gathering intelligence Kuti pa ground pa li banji And those people Bunda jibale yake Afuna kuti bingo Apitipa kula mula Ama buya ndi intelligence Kuti 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 za kuti That's why bingo Had intelligence At every level Constituency Nduna zimapila kwa bingo Kwa na mabozo Nda gambandia chena Constituency Kuti kuti za kuti za kuti za kuti za kuti za kuti So every leader must realize Kuti there is a chance Of being hedged away from here on the ground now must find a way of removing that hedge by improvising ways of how to get the real information on the ground the one i've used for bingo is just one of those examples thank you very much mzimba community yes ah na uonga ah mu kupata ora kwenu mutangwira muno na kupulika hapo za miuso itatu hiyo imo mkono ati kumvinyani para kuleka kuendela pamoza yes mwango za political traditional and religious imwe para mwaika mwai wa mwapika mwai wa kuzakaro wa chiviri kwa murongozi mwza mwika ndondo mekoli kuti miuso yose yendele nge pamoza chitukuko chileka kumala pandroa wa short term pain na long term yao Nanga chomene tata jere Ngana muna mjoela mbele para Neka nga mlongozi O wachiko mlongozi Ninga wana vinjeru Vya kuika ndunumiko pa neka cha Lika ni mkawiro kake Dangu ya kuti Tiza kale pasi Tose tivikeporu wana tose Pamakani aga Kutika tende ngembu Uyu weke pa mahala yake Uyu mahala yake kutike ndomeke kwenye rera ya kutima fumu wa mipingo na wachipani tende rumoza so panyinga sore nga wanayo mahara ayo kweni ya kumbike nga wanyane wa oneposo ni tuwezo utu kwa mnyane utu kwa mnyane pa moza tipangechi moza cha kutendele rumoza kanandu on critical issues of the nation it's important to call the faith leaders together ima pa mamakani aya ma faith leaders can you discuss muko nambu Mwafumo vitu, can you discuss mwuko nambu? Nekita nguye kutimbele para kuti Jarovinyaki vuna kalako Boma nilio kutula rwanda ili kucho mene Pa kusambizga uyo zamo wafumo Nina IYM Imko sima kwa simberwa Mwenu kama wanakaa wakala Boma nilio lidia Tisa mzingi ndise Kwa nimba mtuwaru mwana wakwamba Tisa mzingi ndise Mpaka wafike kukoleji Pura mwana para wasambile vya development Kenu sikiru kacharo Vya nitu vya kwenu sikiru kacharo kuti kama fumo ni ma agents of government background wasambile makora tende ngelu moza that's what I was trying to highlight in my manifesto thank you very much another question please if you are any thank you I don't see any hand that means uh, uh, the questions we had have been exhausted possibly honorable you might have two or three things to add from uh, what possibly you have already explained and possibly from uh, the questions from the, the media thank you Uh, thank you so much, members of the press.
I strongly believe that uh, you are the fourth arm of uh, the government. One key thing I'm going to address is we need to have responsible way of presenting our issues, especially via Jarojitu. We can make or break the president, we can make or break the government depending on the way we report on issues. Let's work together, support the president, understand him, and again, there must be a rapport between government and the press, because you can help government in influencing policy changes by the way we get to the masses. So government should take a leading role in engaging the media. Then this thing coming up, how can you help us with the media? How do you understand it? Let, you, let them make you understand so that Makaya Umu, you are able to narrate that properly so that the people are prepared through your responsible reporting. After this, you are all invited for lunch before we go to the rally. We will be down there. I think Vashipani, let the media first of all have their lunch. So no, or else you come backwards and they go and set up their, their, their equipment. After this, the rest of the members will be allowed to, uh, to leave, but uh, the delegates from the five districts, regional committee members from Rumpia and North North, and again, no South regional committee members should remain behind. Otherwise, you are going to be a man. 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 You Mozinda Wanzuzu. Kwambiri, uh, amafoto kwa sabo fundo, isimene agwani na wadi uh, agwani liti. Agawa sanka kukala nditu uh, wajwili kwa mtokole wajibanja Malawi Congress. Ine tina langa, ine Sam Kalimira, Maduroano, Jamma Tugorogomu, Brian Banda, Komaso Wanda Ramsisga, ni Jona Bangoho, agudenge nigu msonghano wa mumbawa, Pagadoro Ground, Magomanos.